Hello friends, welcome to my hike. Today is March 17th, 2020. So happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm here at Bailey Homestead in Shelburg Farm, hiking along the Little Calumet River Trail. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and if you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. The annual Maple Sugar Time event, which takes place the first two weekends in March, features the evolution of maple sugaring in Northwest Indiana. A relatively short hike will interest people of all ages as they travel through time, observing various methods of making maple syrup. Park rangers and volunteers demonstrate a range from an early American Indian method to the pioneer method of boiling sap in open iron kettles, to a more modern commercial method of producing syrup. The Indiana Dunes National Park is the only national park that makes maple syrup. Although Indiana became a state in 1816, Northwestern Indiana was essentially a wilderness when Joseph Bailey arrived in 1822 from Michigan with his wife Marie and their children to build their homestead. The 500,000 acre Kankakee Marsh, located to the southeast of here, was a major impediment to travel and discouraged settlement of the Calumet region. The Baileys were among the first settlers to the area. During the fur trading years, the homestead consisted of six log structures, which served as living quarters, kitchen, storehouse, and warehouses for the trade goods. Material from the original buildings is being preserved in the log structures you see today. In 1833, Joseph Bailey and his family received $6,000 for his services in counseling the Potawatomi Indians in an agreement called the Chicago Treaty, which placed the land in northwestern Indiana in public domain. With this money, he repaired various buildings around the homestead and began construction on the main house. Before Bailey could move into his house, he fell ill and died in 1835. Little Calumet River and Minoke Prairie Trail is a 3.9 mile loop trail that connects to the Bailey Shelburg Homestead Farm Trails, which is a 1.1 mile loop. Located near Chesterton, Indiana, and is rated as moderate according to alltrails.com. The trails feature a river, beautiful wildflowers, and is good for all skill levels. The trail is primarily used for hiking, walking, and nature trips, and is accessible year-round. This featured hike combines sections from several trails into a perimeter loop hike. 
the Little Calumet River, Minoki Prairie, Bailey Homestead, Shellburg Farm, and Bailey Cemetery Trail System reveals the rich natural diversity that has drawn people to this area for over 10,000 years. Hike through a forest dominated by maple, beech, basswood, and oak trees. Guys, there's literally miles of boardwalk out here. If this isn't the most peaceful place, the only thing, there's no side railing. And sometimes the drop off is more than three feet. And I'm like, okay, walk and don't film. <laughs> On that note, uh, see you in a sec. Open daily from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Free, and there's no access fee. The trails are not wheelchair accessible, and there are information boards at the trailheads. The trail surface consists of packed dirt and wood chips with some, with some section of stairs. Year-round restrooms and potable water is at the Bailey Shelburg parking lot. Stay on the trail to protect the wildlife and yourself. Respect closed area signs. Wear adequate footwear the trail can be muddy and slippery near the Little Calumet River. The morning dew can also be heavy in the prairie section of the trail. Remember to use insect repellent, wear long sleeves, and tuck long pants into socks to avoid ticks and poison ivy. Believe me, the bugs will eat you alive and ruin your fun especially in the summer. Follow a stretch of the Little Calumet River, once a critical transportation route for early regional travelers, and explore the recently restored Minoki Prairie for a glimmer of the vast stretches of pre-settlement grasslands. Explore the historic Bailey Homestead and Shelburg Farm, a century-old farm of Swedish immigrants. Walk around Bailey Homestead, a national historic landmark. The area's original European homestead dating back to the 1820s.
Thank you for joining me today. Remember to subscribe to my channel to receive notifications when I upload new hiking adventures. Also, read my blog at thepaintedhiker.com. Check the description below for information about this video. See you next time.